Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. It's that boy G playing. Don't give a damn. He cooler than the fan. Walking real tall. Some say he's man. Well, let's talk about it. You know, how many tracks, how many features, <clears throat> who who's producing on it. Let's, let's talk about it. Let's break it uh, down. What, what are we expecting? So, the album called Still Manifesting. And, uh, like, we're still manifesting. That's just everything that I want. <clears throat> I'm still speaking into existence, you know, still praying that God allowed me to see these things, you know what I'm saying? And just that's 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 a way of living, like, you know, it ain't just no uh the book of Joe Scott, something that's just about me. Man, still manifesting. Hashtag still manifesting on your lifestyle, you know what I'm saying? And we got 14 tracks on it. 14. I got uh D1. I got HD for president on there. We got a hit. I swear to God. <laughs> I got uh my homeboy Q got the juice. That's who I started rapping with when I really got into it. And I got Lady V. <clears throat> and I got a couple more people in the credits, like who doing runs and samples for me live. Like mm -hmm. we went crazy, bro. Like we went crazy and just this album, bro. It's just it 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 shows you that you know. Like, damn, this nigga done kind of master that shit, like, mm. you know what I'm saying? Like, <clears throat> I'm tapping into so many different flows. Kel, Kel produced 11 of the beats. Me and Kel ain't made it, we ain't locked in on the project since, like, 2016. Mm. And, like, the reason why, and it's some real shit, like, I just felt like, I'm like, I'm like that nigga big, biggest critic. I'm like, yeah, your beats raw as a bitch. You the sickest nigga engineering, but... Yo, beast ain't dead, you know. I ain't never tell him that. But that I, was, I just was waiting till he was ready, you know, and it wasn't gonna be too much on him. Mm -hmm. Man, when I say I brought shit out that nigga that that nigga ain't know he had in him this album, like, it's crazy, bro. Like, the production side, by far, some of my favorite songs I ever made in real life. Mm. But, like, I wanna ask you, why 14 tracks? Why December 14th? Why the day? <clears throat> 14 tracks, December 14th? So, I was number 14 in college, you know, that was my baseball number. You know, Crazy Trey died in 2014, uh, we graduated 2014, you know what I'm saying? So, like, that's a big year. Then December 14, that's my brother's birthday, my blood brother's birthday. Last year, I dropped my little mixtape on his birthday. <clears throat> it's just, you know, bringing some, you know, he a positive nigga, but just... Bringing some pressure ass energy, like one day one of these bitches gonna take off and it took off on your birthday. You know what I'm saying? Just mm. making people around me feel entitled, you know. But a great entitled, not like a cocky. Like damn, Joe Scott really embraced me as being his brother, you know. So it's some shit like that. That's why that date. Okay, okay, yeah. that's what's up. <clears throat> that's what's up, man. Um, was it a hard process? Like, was you? Like locked in, look, I'm getting ugly. Yeah. I might not bath. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't <laughs> it, it wasn't it cause I could it couldn't be that cause I was uh trying to, you know, be at the crib while my girl's pregnant in that last couple of weeks. So it was just <clears throat> I really took my time with it. Like with each song, like a song in particular, Choppers and Guns. Like that song took me like three months to master, to I had the verse, I had this, but it wasn't coming out how I wrote it in my mind. Like so, it was I, it was songs where I'm having to go re-record and re-record, and I'm really putting my all into it. So I'm losing my voice. Gotta wait three days when my voice come back. Gotta not try to talk too loud. Hit the studio again. But I gotta, I gotta get them cause I, I gotta get it cause in some of these songs I'm really giving my all on these bitches in my. I ain't been doing no shows, my, my throat ain't used to it. So I'm losing my voice. So if I don't get that bitch, I gotta come back the next other two days later, I gotta go back. Mm -hmm. Like so it was a it was a process that I know Kel Kel was I know I aggravated the fuck out of him with this. You know, I'm still <laughs> waiting on the text from that nigga. I'm just you know, I'm just we done work so hard for this bitch, bro, and like so many people believe in this bitch like mm. Incredible ears, like I'm letting niggas hit this bitch. Like, look, I'm my, my, my knees yeah. sink. I'm like, man, hey, this that yeah. bitch though. This that bitch, bro. Real talk. Yeah, 
Man. <clears throat> Shout out to DJ Kill, real life, son. That nigga really exceeded my expectations with this shit. Yeah, Kill, nice. That boy, that boy been doing this thing for a minute, minute. You know, real life. been locked in for, for, for a minute. But it's like, <clears throat> you know, you lay down the track and it don't feel right to <clears throat> you. Yeah. And it, it, so, has, did it get to a point like, he like, Joe, like, this sound good. What's wrong? Uh uh. Like, it would, <clears throat> we gon', like, we. We just dealt with each other like, mm -hmm. if Kel don't like it, if we have any doubt about it, if we ain't saying that's that bitch, we be doing this shit like. <clears throat> and Chowers and Guns, it was it was hard on the production side too. Like, mm -hmm. I'm very picky, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? It was hard on the production side, but he sent me like the master version like a week ago last weekend. It was like during the morning. Mm. I listen to that bitch, I say, oh, that's it. Shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah.